Hello everybody, welcome back to Resonet. So today what we're gonna do is I got these molds. These are coaster molds, kind of big coaster molds. I would say probably closer to five inch. Let me see here. Uh, yep, they're just right under five inches or 12 centimeters or so. So anyway, what we're gonna be doing today is they have really kind of a cool design in them, okay? So I bought four, two of each of these, but I'm only gonna be working on two of them today since I'm gonna be painting them with mica powders. I think it would take a little bit too long for me to try to do four of them. <laughs> so um, I have chosen from Glitter and Crafts for You, which is kind of my go-to for the chameleon powders. I am using Super Chameleons, one in Blue Ecstasy and one in Copper Rose. And then I will be backing um, the rest of it with black. And I'm hoping that these colors, even though this blue, hoping the black will, that will all still work and that will get the effect that I'm hoping to get. So I'm going to go ahead and take kind of a smaller paintbrush for this one. Let me see here. I'm going to start with this one, even though I've got a few loose bristles here. May not work in some of the tiny areas. Um, let me see, what else do I have? I've got all kinds of paint brushes here. Let's see here, maybe this one looks a bit, a little bit smoother. And then I've even got some little tiny one here for some of these little tiny areas. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And then I will probably kind of show you what I'm doing. And then I'll probably speed this up. Um, cause you're not going to want to watch me do this whole thing. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, I think those are the colors I want to do. The blue ecstasy on this one and the copper rose on this one. And as soon as I can find my glasses, I'm going to get started. Okay. It's going this one. This one has kind of a real glittery look to it. And I'm going to just start. Oh gosh, I got some static. Yep, I got some static already. Okay, I'm going to have to use this bigger brush because that little one is just not, um, not covering enough for right now until I get to the tiny parts. So what I'm doing is I'm just finding a good spot here. Um, you know, I'm just finding my line and then what I'll do is I'll go in and I will paint with the mica powder every other line. Okay, I'm just gonna leave every line in between blank. This does kind of tend to kind of go all over the place, but I want it to be on here thick enough to where, um, you know, it's gonna really be a bold color. There it is so far. Just one of it done. And I'm going to come through here and kind of clean up some of my coverage. I want it to really stay in the lines that I want it in. What do you think? What do you think about how it's looking so far? 
got a little bit of areas in here. I'm not going to worry about these too much until I know um, which ones are actually supposed to be empty. Hey, looking pretty good so far. Okay, there it is. So right now it doesn't look like too much, but hopefully when we add the black, it'll really give it some depth. Okay, so that's all we're gonna do for that one. I don't think that we really need to touch it up too much. Um, I think we need to touch it up too much. Let me see here. Make sure, kind of looking thinner on this, you know, some of these areas there. But what I really want is for it to look nice and dark when you're looking straight down at it. I, can, I think it looks pretty good, actually, um, if you're looking straight down. So, I don't know. Uh, gosh, I don't know. Maybe I need to put just a little bit more here. It looks just is not quite as pronounced. Okay, and now I'm going to leave it alone. All right. So I'm going to set that aside. And now this one, you do it the same way, I guess, with just every other square. Okay, so let me wipe off my paintbrushes. It doesn't take too much to get that mica powder off. Just... Just gonna rub them here on my my uh, baby wipe. They already look pretty clean. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go. We're just gonna pick a square and go every other square. This one might be a little bit more time consuming because you know I have to do each square at a time. Oh, that blue is really pretty though. Making a big mess on that one. I had too much on my brush. Back in here and pick up some of that. Put a bit of alcohol here on the tip of my paintbrush. Go ahead and clean up some of these areas here. Some of the ones where my baby wipe is a bit too big to get in there. All right. And it helps to pick it up at a different angle and you can see in the different lighting where you've missed. Looks pretty good though, you guys. What do you think? Okay, so um, now the picture that, they, that I looked at 
on the website where they did theirs. They did not use chameleon powders. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how this turns out. Hopefully, 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 huh? A lot of work, a lot of work went into this, but yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and make up my resin, okay, so that we can get these poured. And then I will um, also decide what I want to do, if I want to do anything special on these rims. I don't know that I do. I just, I don't know. But I don't want it to look messy either. What do you think? Messy in some spots there, I see. But I think once we pour the black, that it's going to just kind of, Hopefully I'll come together. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right, you can already see the effect. So let's let's get the resin made up and then I'll be back and we'll pour it and then we'll see what happens. See you then. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've got eight ounces of J Diction resin made up. Don't plan on using that much, but just went ahead and made it up anyway. I'm going to give it a squirt of alcohol in there. Had some little micro bubbles, not too many. Um, I'm going to guess that I'm going to want to pour about two ounces or so into each of these molds. So I'm going to do four, start out with four ounces here. Let's see, whoops, let's see here. That's right at four. Wipe up my mess as I do most days. <laughs> Get carried away. Okay, I wonder what I could have made with all of the resin that I have dumped over the sides or all over myself. Probably something, something fairly large, I would imagine. Okay, so what I like to do when I'm working with mica powders is, uh, especially these chameleon mica powders, you know, they really recommend that you use um, black, which is actually not, it's more than a recommendation. It's actually kind of a must. So what I like to do is I like to do a combination of, I've been using Sigwong, um, mica powders lately, the regular ones, and I use this in black. And then I mix a bit of my black velvet India ink by Handy Art in there as well. And so I'm just going to take a bit here on a craft stick. You want a good amount really, because, um, you don't want this to be a translucent black. You want it to be fairly opaque. So I start off with a little scoop like that. This is not going to be enough mica powder to make it opaque. That's where my India ink comes in. Kind of saves on my mica powders. Especially if you're doing a large product. You've got to use quite a bit more mica powder, in my experience, to actually get it to get a real opaque um, black. kind of a kind of a see-through a little darker than a gray but it's still translucent so now let's go ahead and we're going to add a bit of this india ink it's going to do a couple of drops like that in there i don't know how much that was a few little squirts probably equivalent to five or six drops maybe this should really give it a nice rich black color. I decided not to do anything on these rims. For this first try, I'm just going to leave them and let the black kind of sink in on it and see what we get with that. Let's look. Oh yeah, that's a nice black, nice and opaque. Just what I wanted. Let me stick off here. Okay, so let's see, that's what we've got in there. You see a few micro bubbles. Let's go ahead and give it a quick spray. Get those to come up. And while we're waiting for that to kind of pop, um, God, but gosh, I'm excited to see how this turns out. I really hope it does turn out. Really, really hope it turns out. Um, I'm going to see something. Okay, so I, I left there for just a second because I'm not sure if this needs to be colored in, this little part right here. I went back to look at the picture, and it kind of does. Now, it'll be black. 
So actually, no, you know what? I think black would be the best for that final little hole. So we're going to leave that. Okay, so let's going to go ahead and pour about half of this in this one. But I won't get any bubbles in these little crevices here. Okay, let's see. It's not quite half. And over here, try to get this to kind of go slowly. My resin hasn't been sitting out very long, so it's still really um, pretty thin, which is good. I want it to sink down into those little tiny crevices without any problem. I don't want any bubbles. Okay, so this is not going to go all the way to the top, but I will say that um, two ounces each for these is going to be just about right for the thickness that I would want. I don't, I don't see any reason to go all the way to the top of these molds. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and find one of my little spatulas here. Go ahead and get the rest of this out. gosh I'm excited about these you guys I hope they turn out the way that I'm hoping I'm, I'm a little nervous about you know the the mica powders and the black I mean I know it's gonna I know that it's gonna show up um, with the chameleon effect I just hope that the black comes through enough to where we can actually see the pattern I guess that's my concern mainly. So, okay, I'm going to give this another spray or two of alcohol and then I'm going to set it over on my curing rack here when it probably just thickens up just a little bit. Set them over there so they can cure. And as soon as they're done, I'm going to go ahead and as soon as they're done, we will come back and then mold them. I am going to give these a little splat just because they do have some little crevices in there. Get my bubbles out. There we go. Okay, yeah, I'll probably just give this one one more quick spray. Um, make sure that they are that the bubbles are out. And anyway, now I'm just rambling on. So as soon as these are cured, we'll be back and we'll unmold them. Okay, I'll see you then. Hello, everybody. Okay, I'm back. So. I went ahead and I put these in my curing machine and I just took them out. They are cured. They're still a little bit warm, but um, but they are cured enough to take out of here. And I just was too excited to see how they turned out. I don't even know which one I want to start with. I think we're going to start with the one that we did with the blue. And let's see, that was called, let's see, that was the blue ecstasy um, super chameleon powder so let's see how it turned out gosh excited to see this hope it all is going to come together okay it's a little bit bendy just a little bit most of the mica powders came off of there so let's turn it over and see how it looks ready here it goes oh my gosh it did work look at that look at that effect that looks really cool. It looks really th 3D. You see how it looks like it's just kind of all going down into this hole? That looks really amazing. And you see we got the purples coming in through the blue. And wow, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. What do you guys think? What do you think about that? It is actually kind of an optical illusion, isn't it? really cool i'm going to put it down here on some plastic so that um I've, if i've got anything here on my mat since these are still warm i don't want anything to stick to the bottom so all right here is this other one see how this one turned out 
was kind of a fun project to do. Um, looks like I do have a few. I don't know if you can see. I've got a few bubbles down inside the little crevices in there, but I probably will think about doing a top coat, or just a clear top coat. But but there's all these little crevices, so um, I'd have bubbles probably uh, anyway. So I don't know. Might just leave it. Also, really quickly here on the edges. Remember, we came up came up on the edges, and that worked as well. I don't know if you can tell, but there's kind of a striped look with the black and then the mica powders going all the way around looks pretty cool really really cool okay now this was the one we used the the fairy dust i trying to remember what we used copper rose no actually we used the copper rose with this one okay and that was also a super chameleon powder it was kind of more of a glittery look let's turn this over and see how this one did Oh gosh, <laughs> look at that. That is just so cool. I do see I have some surface bubbles there. And you know, it's one reason why I use the alcohol spray on my molds, but, um, but I'm not real sure how I would get around that part, except, well, now I've got that little bubble machine. So I guess I could put the whole mold in there, but oh gosh, look at, so the colors are all changing. And it just looks like it spirals down into this little hole here. And so here, this is the part. Well, actually, on both of these parts, I was trying to decide if I wanted to leave this part black here and here. And they both are. And it actually turned out just fine that way. So that turned out really cool. What do you guys think? Do you have a favorite between these two? I feel like they're both just really fun. The illusion is definitely there. It's uh, really kind of crazy. So if you're interested in these molds, I can post the link for you. Um, these came from Tamu. Okay, so I don't know if they're on Amazon or not. I will double check and see. But um, yeah, really fun. This was <laughs> this was a fun project. So um, you know what I could do since I bought a set. I bought two of these and two of these molds. I could just do the opposite color. I could do these colors or this other mold and vice versa and then have a set of four uh, with the same colors but different effect kind of a thing. But anyway, this was fun. Let me know what you guys think and let me know if you decide to try it and what colors you would use. All right. Thanks again. And... I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.